Clark Schmidt, you know the drill. You ready to take a look at your top performing social media posts? Yeah, let's do it. All right, first one. Oh. <laughs> Class clown, huh? Yeah, that's me. I was actually, it's funny. I was showing Joe Bello, uh, our, one of our trainers the other day. He was like, dude, you're actually low-key funny. And he was like, compliment me. I was like, dude, you know, I actually got a Class Clown Award when I was younger. And I showed him a picture of it, and he was dying laughing. So that's funny that you brought that up. All right, we're going to give you some time to think. But by the end of this, we uh -huh. want to hear your worst joke that you've ever Oh, heard. no, I'm, I'm more of like in the moment type. You know, I, I don't know if I can come up with a joke, but I'll try. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll right see. Now. Maybe we'll we get see lucky. Now. Maybe we get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's you okay. as a kid, and yeah. you've always fished. Yeah, I think um, you know it's good in the off seasons to kind of like move around a little bit and, and be able to be out in nature a little bit. It's, we're in the city so much; it's it's good to be able to go out there and fish. So that's one of the hobbies I like to do in my downtime. And so yeah, I, I don't I haven't caught any that big recently, but uh, maybe I have to go back to the spot and, and try to find something out there. Yeah, and we saw the selfie with your dad too. So mm -hmm. you've gone to a bunch of fishing trips with him. Yep, his side of the whole side of the family is from Colorado, so we'll go out there like fly fish stuff like that. Um, and, and obviously I'm from in the Atlanta suburb area in the off season and so there's the Blue Ridge Mountains right there so we'll go fly fishing up there and, and spend some time so it's good to get some, some father son time especially when we're on the road so much. So if you're not fishing, you're yeah. out there chilling on the boat yeah. man. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, like I said, like I like to be out, you know, out in the water, out in nature, uh, out, you know, just chilling, hanging out with the boys and, and spending a good time. So that might have been during COVID when we were really, re you know, you had the whole summer. It was like the only way to hang out was to get out on a boat or something like that. And are you the one who's usually driving the boat? Uh, sometimes my brother, he's, he's he loves to do it. So I'll, like, I'll let him rip it and um, I'll hang out and just listen to music and chill. So uh, I'm not the, I'm not the designated driver. <laughs> little brunch action down in Miami? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are, uh, you know, I, I like Good Eats. Any city that we go to, I like to, to find the best food and I'm always grinding Yelp and, and trying to find out uh, where, where the best coffee spots are, best food spots. So this is one of the spots we hit up. And how much of this is yours? Uh, that is a lot of food, so I don't. I hope it's not all mine. <laughs> the steak and eggs are definitely mine. That's a must. And then probably, probably split the waffle maybe. And we've seen you get busy in the kitchen. Yeah, a little yeah. Little pizza action. Yeah, this is uh, just another one, uh, just hanging out with my family, spending time with them. Um, you know, it's it's fun to be able to, to hang out with them in the off season. So we have some nights we'll have pizza nights and, and we'll have a little competition so we can make the best pizza. So uh, it's good. Are you folder? Um, no, I don't fold my pizza. I just go, I'm just all in. I, I like to, I want that crispy. I want it not to have any flop, any of that. So I'm, I'm trying to, I try to get my game right, but I always end up losing because I end up burning the pizza. I get distracted or something. So uh, I'm not the, I'm not the winner at all. All right. So of course, when you're eating all that good food, you mm -hmm. got to burn it off somehow. Yeah. Here you are on the bike. Yeah. This is actually, I think that's Newport. Um, one of the spots I like to go to in the off season. It's, it's, I like California, man. It's good. It's, it's good energy out there. And especially when the nice weather in the off season, it's, um, it's good to get out there and hang out with the boys. Yeah. And the pictures too, that you take, yeah. there's a great picture of you on the bike and the, I don't know what it is. Do you use filters for all these posts that we see? Uh, some of these don't need filters. Um, That's true. but honestly, honestly, I got into, I like, I like photography a little bit. I'm like trying to dabble with it. I bought a camera the, um, this past year. So, um, maybe we'll see some more off season chronicles when, when I'm traveling and stuff I'm gonna I'm planning on going to Europe and stuff so uh, I'll start I'll start taking some more photos nice I love it oh here we go so that was the mm -hmm. bike that you're on yeah this was one of your cars do yeah. you still have this this was actually my first uh, that was my first draft car when I first got drafted uh, that was my first like you know purchase they always say don't buy a car but I ended up doing it anyways yeah so where's yeah. it now uh, I actually I just sold that I sold that recently to um, you know I just ended up dumping it and getting a new thing now I drive a Tesla now uh, wow. so, all right. yeah, all it's right. a lot of fun yeah <laughs> I love those things man they're crazy all right here you are in your homegrown hoodie yeah which is on yes yeah SF. okay little throwback dude these videos yeah. always play so well yeah especially the when you angle, yeah the like angle that. the angle is crazy i think the angle just like makes them look better sometimes i don't think it looks like that to my eye you know maybe it does to the hitter's eye hopefully uh but yeah it's these are cool angles i like seeing them behind the, behind the catcher my brother gets pissed every time i throw two seams i blow him up <laughs> on his thumb so um he probably got angry on that one right there yeah, yeah. what would you say for uh like young pitchers out there who are trying to get better mm -hmm. because a lot of people watching this right now they've seen yeah. your career progress mm -hmm. as a member of the Yankees yeah. so like what's been the key to your success I've had like uh, bits of my my successes and failures and um, I, I think the number one thing is always just keep going and um, you know I think there's a lot of growth that can be had in this game you know it's 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 a tough game and there's things that you're constantly learning I think myself I'm always learning and, and even these these older guys like judge and guys like this I think there's a there's a constant adjustment process throughout this game um, so for me it's just learning from those failures and be constantly evolving constantly growing and learning more in this game and it's gotten you to this point mm -hmm. do you show so much fire and passion mm -hmm. on the field man yeah yeah I think uh, you know some of these big games like you know big moments like that it brings it out of you I've always kind of had that 
uh, you know, I try to bring that competitive spirit and that kind of fire and, and a little bit of dog when I'm out there. So uh, sometimes it comes out. Sometimes, you never know when it comes out. But uh, I think this was, a, I think that was an extra inning game, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so yeah, it, those moments bring it out of you. Yeah, there's another one on your Instagram mm -hmm. page too, if you guys check it out. Mm -hmm. You're just pumping your chest and like yeah. really grabbing the yeah, NY yeah. Yeah. logo right there too. So anytime you do something like this, it just yeah. it shows the love that you have for yeah. the game. Yeah, I think it's, you know, there's a, there's so much work that goes on behind the scenes and, and preparation and, um, you know, I'm, I'm extremely grateful to like really be doing what I'm doing. Like I know, like every day it's, it's just a dream to be able to like to do what I do and um, to be with this team and uh, in a city in a big market like this, you know, where like, you know, pr pressure is like a privilege here. You know, you gotta, every time you go out there, you're expected to perform. Um, so for me, I hold that to a high regard. That means, you know, that means I gotta go out there and do my job. So when you get the job done and, and in big moments like that, it's definitely like a rewarding kind of like, this is, you know, it's almost like, all right, we let this out, we got it done. Um, and so you gotta kind of enjoy it a little bit. Yeah, so it's fun. All right, last post. Uh -huh. Now you said there's a lot of pressure. Yeah. <laughs> when you're hitting the ball off the tee, yeah. Is there a lot of pressure that goes into these swings? Yeah, these. How are you on the golf course? Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm, I'm okay. I, I I can hold my own. These are these are. I probably have feel more pressure there than I do out here, honestly, because <laughs> I'm so locked in here. It's like you know when I'm there, you know, you got money on the on the line. You're trying to you're trying not to lose to your brother or, or whoever you're with. You got bragging rights. So uh, there's a lot of pressure out there, but I enjoy it, man. It's good to keep the competitive juices flowing. You know, in the off season, uh, that's one of the things I do. I spend a lot of time doing is playing golf, being able to compete against friends and, and family, and, and put put a little money. On the line and have a little fun so it's good what would you say is your favorite part about social media when it comes to sharing these posts yeah i think um you know like even instagram specifically i think being able to and in twitter also like i think there's a way that you can interact with with fans and, and people who support you and they get to see a side of you um that you might not necessarily get to see on the field and you know you see those moments where you have the spurts where you're, you're showing excitement and stuff like that so it's good to kind of show you know kind of people who you are behind the scenes with your character and stuff like that um and it's also fun to be able to interact with people and um you meet so many different people through it so it's a good it's good i like it awesome so for everybody out there who isn't following you just yet mm -hmm. where can they go and also too what can they expect yeah in season I'm, I'm on instagram and i'm trying to interact with people and that's i think it's just clark schmidt is my name yeah just straight up um no numbers or anything like that so yeah it's good it's i, I like to i'll start i'm gonna start putting being a little bit more interactive on instagram as far as like posting things and traveling and stuff like that but uh it's always tough when you're locked in in the season dude clark yes, thank sir. you so much yes sir i appreciate, you. Yes, appreciate sir. you 